just go again But don't make a scene I said go again Well go ahead But it'll cut straight into the middle of me Young Hollywood, what's going on? We have the shadow boxers here in the studio and they're performing for us. That's right. That's right. Here we are. Per usual, I'm fanboying. Uh, <laughs> fanboying. No, it, it was amazing. I was just and I was trying to find out like you guys' vocals have this thing, and I was trying to find out the word for it. Harmonizing. Maybe uh, blend? Blend? Is that what you're going for? Blend. Yes. Blend. I'm yeah. still yeah, cause you what did you mean like singing different parts yeah, we're together? Getting, kind of. Okay, yeah. But there's like a high, a low, and in a middle. Yeah, it's like uh, harmony. It's it's harmony. harmony. Right there. Yeah. It's harmony. It's harmony. Can you guys harmony. help me out with some of that? Maybe? So, so we grew up listening to Crosby, Stills and Nash, the Bee Gees, these type of groups that that the Beatles, even Prince, D'Angelo, all these kind of artists that use harmonies. Like like we try and use that as if it's the lead singer of the band. You know? That was that was kind of the first thing we did when we met each other. Was sang together and we were like, we were like, Ooh. oh, okay. Ooh. Oh. You take you the, tell me where you need me. To go. You take. You the start it. We'll 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 build. Okay, let's try yeah, this yeah. out. Do you want to be the last note or the you, first no. note? Ooh, that's a lot. You be the first. Be the first. First, 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 first. first, first. Yeah. Hollywood. You gotta stay the same note. We gotta oh, have yeah. I tried to take yeah. your yeah. part. I didn't know. Okay, okay, here's what I think we should do. I thought do. it was gonna be like, Young Hollywood. That's what I thought we should do. Well, then that's what we should do. Oh, okay. okay, let's try it Start again. Start again. Okay. <laughs> I bet you didn't know you were gonna be a hot seat like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Young Hollywood. The perfect. I said, go again. We'll go ahead. But it'll go straight into the middle of me. Straight into the middle of me. It'll go straight into the middle of me. Straight into the middle of me. You said you wouldn't run away. Uh. And that was something I was made to believe. You said you wouldn't run away. Yeah. Getting the music right in the studio and getting it, getting the whole thing like ready to go and look and feel exactly how we want it. Getting that done, like now we can just put it out and hope for the best. So you were ready for today's performance. So, you mean just the so four-part yeah. harmony? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's really all led up to that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, like Adam's saying, we've, we've, we've uh, performed so much and we, we know how to play in front of people. That's the easy part for us. So putting out the music allows us to get to the stage and have people listen. That's the easy part for us. Yeah. Yeah. JT, Justin yes. Timberlake loves these guys and is the fourth member. That's right. That's, That's right. Yeah, fifth. Fifth <laughs> member now. Yep. How, come, how did you guys even meet that guy? Or so we, where does that guy come play? We, so like I said, we, we put out some music a long time ago and then we were sort of figuring out what to do next and we were putting out these covers on YouTube to reach a broader audience and every time we would do that, we would tweet at you know appropriate artists. We covered a Justin Timberlake song. Push Your Love Girl, which was um, the first track of his 2020 experience record. And we were in Nashville for a show one day and we all got back to, we were staying at Scott's parents' place and all of a sudden it was like, people just started running to rooms. We were just like, oh my God, Justin tweeted us! He retweeted us! And then it was like, and then I mean, we were just jumping on beds. The bass player bought us some Gucci bass socks. Bass player bought Gucci socks, yeah, exactly, exactly. And then the next morning he, uh, he, he slipped into the DMs. The DMs? Yeah, it was a DM. It's a good place to slide. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, but no, he sent us a message and was like, how do I get in touch with you guys? Gave him my phone number and a week later he called on like a Sunday afternoon. We talked for like 45 minutes. He just wanted to hear about the band and our history and he was coming to Atlanta a week later on tour and he took us out to dinner. And, and Runaway is one of the first songs that we, were that we wrote and recorded in that process of right after meeting Justin and we just put that out, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. So, and he, he was in the studio with us. All of that time he was on the road, we were sort of planning when he gets back off the road, um, when we're gonna get in the studio. And that was always his promise to us. Is he, says, he says he wants to be in the studio with us, uh, helping us record, helping us sort of navigate all of the creative processes that he's learned along the way. It's a lot of creative processes for that guy. And don't you try giving me up. Don't you try giving me Yeah, man. Your music is like insane. It's gonna be on every type of radio there Thank is, you. Spotify. Yeah, 
I, I literally love your guys' music. Hey, thank awesome. you. Thanks for hanging with us.